Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Bruin Build. Today, got a little bit to show you. Uh, first things first, I went, like I said last time, I went looking for some more Trident stuff and found a lot of stuff. We'll go into that to a sec, but didn't actually find a Trident. But like I said, found a butt ton of stuff. Um, so this is just a little bit. So three diamonds, 34 emeralds. If you get the chance and you get maps to treasure, always find the treasure they have so much stuff in them 20 gold 46 two hearts of the sea 46 iron ingots i didn't actually complete that and blue ice if you find a glacier blue ice is underneath on the bottom side of the glacier which i thought was interesting um and yeah so th because of this we can now afford another mending book and i think i'm gonna put mending on this trident um because i think it's cool i think it would be really cool um and also tridents are a little difficult to get and I, they're kind of hard to find too um but what we also got was a few diamond blocks and some of this stuff so we're gonna break this and i've got brupert here uh actually no we don't have brupert got silk touch now i got brupert it's brupert right yes got brupert and we're gonna go over that in just a second but let's let's break this all and see what we get um i, I don't know i thought this would be a fun way to, to kind of start the episode just to see just how much stuff all right we're getting into the diamonds it's quite a bit of diamonds i gotta tell you all right almost there beautiful collect it all back up make sure we didn't drop anything anything down there oh there's diamonds down there daggummit all right you know i'm so used to not having feather falling in the waystone that i <laughs> i don't ever jump off things now um yeah the <laughs> don't ever jump off it off things uh let's see what we got 48 <laughs> 48 diamonds all right not bad not bad uh quite a bit of this that's pretty good some more coal yeah not bad not bad so i'm gonna put this stuff up and then i'm gonna meet you over there uh and we're gonna get into today's episode which is going to deal with that over there so i'll see you guys in just a little bit all right guys so i think i have most everything that i need uh we are gonna be walking on over here um just okay good uh, sorry, trying to make dinner plans with my fiance. Uh, this is the area we worked on before. If you hadn't seen this yet, uh, I think it looks pretty good. I still need to go through and add all the water to all the slabs, but that's okay. Um, and I've been doing some planning. Uh, so what we've got here is this open area. And this is going to be like the final section, I think, of the gypsy camp. It's not going to be too big. Um, so we've got this tent area, and we'll extend it a little ways, make a path that extends that way. Um, but we've got this here blue, I think it's light blue concrete, uh, and it marks out where the road's going to be. So the road's going to go there, it's going to wind here, and then it's going to come up around over here, and this entire clearing is going to be like all caravans and stuff. I thought that would be good. Um, and we're going to have a split in the road, and I have cut into this hillside a bit, and I think I'm going to raise it up one more. Um, just because then we can really get some detail in. Um, so we're going to raise this up a, a little bit and then just like that. And then on top of it, it's going to be, it's actually going to be decently tall. We're going to raise it up twice. So the level will actually be one above this. So it's going to be right here. And the hillside will be a little steeper um, for this area. And I think that'll be good. Um, the goal is to make it so that like dirt can hang off the edge a bit like this. Um, that's kind of the goal is to have it more like this. And we'll have random little portions of dirt that just kind of hang off. Let me just get this placed for reference. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe there and there. 
maybe that we'll do something like that. We'll obviously add slab to make it look better. Uh, and then I want it to go in on this portion, just a little bit go in. And it, it, uh, it doesn't have to be crazy good or anything like that currently. Uh, I'm not like that though. And so we're gonna have like this, and this will all be stone. Um, and then what I would like to do is maybe even take a couple portions of it, like here, and have that be totally flat like that. And then we're gonna take slabs and decorate it and stuff like that. And I think that's gonna look good overall. I have an image in my head. Um, it just I'll just have to get it to fruition. But anyways, back to the road. So the road's gonna split here, and we're gonna have something here. Maybe like a little market area right here. I think that might be good because I'm thinking I think this area could do for some kind of dock or something like that. Uh, so like a little dock, nothing big, um, a little dock area here. And maybe that's how they get shipments in and stuff uh, for food and all that jazz. And then further back here uh, where the road splits, the road will split around the here to get up here. And then up top here, I honestly don't know what's going to be up here. I uh, just wanted an interesting path, and so I wanted it to actually split and um, be a little, make it look pretty decent. Um, and then we can actually start coming down right around here. I think that'd be good. Don't really know. Haven't really planned all that out. Um, but then the path is going to go here and it's going to all connect back up, go down here, and it should be able to wrap around back wrap around and make it back to the pond area so it's a big oval almost and then up here is where the leader is going to be that platform you saw it's going to be bigger it's going to need to be bigger um, but i made this little platform oh i can't run because i need to eat so i made this platform because i thought it was the perfect location for the leader to be able to sit up and kind of gaze upon the camp and lead um, and this is how big the caravan is going to be. So we need to make this probably one wider here. Uh, this will be fine once it's a little wider. And then I want to extend this out maybe two or three um, further. So maybe, let's see, maybe out to here. Mm, out to here. Yeah. So right here, and then I would like, maybe we'll do this here, there, there, to here, to here. Maybe we'll do one. Give me that. All right, we'll do that. And then we'll start coming in here. And we're going to have to come in like this. Thank you for falling the correct way. And then we can just make this like pretty flat um, right up to the cliff side. Maybe we'll have to cut into this tree. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. I think that'll be good. Um, and then we can take this back around. Well, well, I'll get them. But so I'm going to tear down this wall. And so the purpose of this is to be able to have a cliff side sort of overlooking location. Uh, for them and also the leader's caravan acts as a watchtower so it needs to be uh, on a high point to be able to see over everything um, and so it's going to be on this cliff top and I think that's good it's the hardest part to get to um, in the gypsy camp so the leader is the safest and uh, yeah I just think it's a really good it's a good idea and so yeah i'm gonna get to work and lay out the base of this it's gonna tr i'm gonna try and make this a quicker episode because i just with events this week i haven't been able to record too much um and i feel like i've been saying that a lot but i just really haven't been able to record too much and so i'm going to try and get this done for you guys um as quickly as possible and try and make it as good of quality as well. So I'm not going to waste your time and build random stuff like this. All right, guys. So I have finished up the cliff in terms of what it's going to look like. And I think it looks pretty good. Look at this. I really like it. 
I think that it's going to be pretty good. I like I like what it looks like. Uh, let's take a look at it from up top. It is bigger. Uh, we'll take a look at it here in a second. Um, it is much bigger, and it kind of wraps that way. And I, I like it. It's a, it's a little unique to the area, but I think it's pretty good. Um, we can just actually get over here by treetop because of being able to walk on leaves, which is an always been an interesting mechanic. But yeah, so it's big enough to hold. So this is how big the thing's going to be. The way up is going to be kind of right here. It's going to be like this little pathway up. And I'm thinking the front is going to be right here. It's going to have like a little porch that I think comes out to here. And then you've got all this space for other things. Uh, so yeah, you kind of come up here. And this is the area you actually get to come up. And we'll work out a road and figure that out and stuff. So the terraforming is pretty decent. And um, we're going to focus now on, I think that's actually missing some stone up there. Yeah. We'll just do that right like that and then take something like that sure why not no one's gonna ever see that anyways so all right sorry the air conditioner was on that was annoying um i was trying to be intentional with how the trees are here um and where the carriage is caravan is i mean um so you can see all the way over here i swear i literally just slept I swear, nights and days, day night cycle in this world is so fast. Um, but anyway, so I like the view here a lot. I really like this view, and I also like the fact that you can see out right here. Uh, and so I intentionally cleared whatever trees were here. Kind of had to clear some trees to make room for this little walkway up. Uh, but yeah, I thought I really wanted to make that intentional move it right here yeah look at that view and that's the nice thing about this is i i really like that little view so what are we going to do for the rest of the episode since we have this all done i figured let's work on this side and try and work in some texture uh so the first thing i want to do is to well let's do this first i wanted to try something i wanted to try out using gray concrete in side of the wall so like right here i honestly don't know how this is gonna look uh it could be good it could be bad um you know i don't know i've never <laughs> never used concrete like this before so we'll just have to see let's let's make it get some right here and here and there and then we'll work it out there try and just kind of splotch it all over the place and yeah you know that's actually that's doing something for it i think that's actually gonna be pretty decent i made a good amount uh, i figured this would look decent um but i really wasn't that sure because uh, I've never actually messed with it before. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Add some texture variation, and I wanted to try this. I don't think this is going to really work too well. Uh, I think this is going to be way too dark. Way too... Um, oops. Different looking. I really do not think that this would look too fantastic. Uh, but we can give it a whirl. Might as well. Might as well try it while we've got it. I didn't make near as much of this because I figured I'm not going to like it. But let's take a look at that. Yeah, nah. I think I'd rather do like andesite or something to add a third texture. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to do andesite. I don't even care if I actually... Uh, I actually may hold off on the andesite and try and go and get some... Um, uh, terracotta. 
some like gray, make some gray terracotta or something like that. I think that could look better. I really love the terracottas, and you're going to see that in the next build idea uh, at the end of this episode because we're going to have a lot of terracotta in the next build, and it's going to, I'm so excited for this, the next idea. Uh, I know we're not done with this, but this is honestly the last, like this, that area over there is the last portion. Uh, we'll flesh out this area as like the final and then probably finish off the entrance. And that that's going to wrap it up for this little area. It's not meant to be huge or anything like that. Uh, so let's uh, work this out. Let's just, my, my doing mountain and cliff sides is really nothing like anybody can do this, honestly. You just got to be patient and you just got to put a lot of <laughs> stone and slab and stuff down. And why did I put that there? I, there was no way I was going to actually be able to get up. All right. Um, put it there. And then, but yeah, you, the next area is going to be so cool. It's going to be totally, I think it's going to be pretty unique. I really want to try and always do pretty unique designs and builds uh, and I think this this next one is going to be very very cool uh, the premise is a city of color and city of like happiness but it's kind of a fake it, it's not kind of it is a fake sort of happiness um, I I want it to be kind of dark uh, but on the exterior it's very bright very happy um, and you'll get a taste of oops, what I mean uh, in near the like when I explain it, you'll get you'll get a taste for it uh, once I actually explain it a bit more. Uh, but for right now, that's all you probably need to know until we take a take a little look at the uh, thing. So I'm going to work this out and we're going to do I'll do this off camera a bit more um, because I want to show you also what we are going to be doing um let's go right Ooh. oh right uh that might work that won't work nope you're right there i don't know if that's gonna work yeah that's good enough whatever who cares so let's see what that looks like from afar. Squid apparently tried to two squids. I don't know why they keep dying. Yeah, that's not bad. And then imagine like a slightly darker gray or different texture like terracotta, not ter like terracotta or andesite. Imagine that mixed in. And I think I'm gonna make this area a little less flat. Uh, so the one of the other things that I want to do. Um, is make it seem really overgrown and I'm getting a lot of this inspiration for this cliff from Fwip uh, He if you haven't seen His stuff definitely check him out because the dude's ridiculous with what he does um, See look at this. It's already night. Dang um, It's he does some crazy terraforming. I don't even know Where to start with this? I think I'm gonna make this kind of come up and grow up over like that and then maybe a little bit like that I think that would be good maybe make this guy spruce and the reason why I like mixing these two is because I think the textures based very very similar um, it's they're very very similar textures um, and so they go well together like the textures form together well uh, but what you, what I really want to start doing is getting some grass and, not grass, but like uh, some stuff in here like this. Uh, I also like, the the birch is very dry looking. Um, also, it, it just seems like it would be really good um, foliage. I said it right, guys. I said it right. Took me years of practicing. Ooh. Then let's do there, there. Let's grab some of that. And then let's grab a little bit of this. There, there, there. So it's like overgrown. 
can. This just adds, starts adding so much to your build. Like when you can start really bringing life into it and see like, that's hardly, like I hardly did anything, but that adds so much. So I'm gonna be doing a lot to this uh, area with this stuff. Um, definitely want to get a lot of, ooh, I don't necessarily like the fact that that, um, maybe like that. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Um, so I'm going to be adding this in and just making it look kind of overgrown and gross. And I want to break that with a, a good thing is I have these three tools that I would use to break stuff that they're all silk touch. So I don't have to worry about anything. Um, let's do spruce right there. And then maybe a spruce just like randomly right there. But like, look at that. That looks so much better. Oh yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to do this off camera. Finish this like off and we're going to take a look at it and we'll finish the top off. The main that's the the main reason is I want to get like the side stuff done so we can really start uh next episode getting into this big carriage. I would or caravan. I would really like to do this next episode or at least get it started. Uh, I think that could be really really cool. Um let's take a look at where these are right here. So right like that. Do that. And then this one is right here. So maybe we go right here and right there. Yeah, that's good. So then it looks like it's at like oh, growing up over it. I think that's pretty good. Take one last look at that and then I'm gonna go jump into a creative world that I have of this world and then oh yeah that looks good i like it i like what it looks like uh so i'm gonna work on this and we're gonna take a look at really quickly the build and get an idea as to what next the next town idea i have is and i'd love your guys's feedback uh, so let's go take a look at that real quick all right so we are here and the reason we are start on this mushroom biome mushroom uh, island biome uh is because this is the location where i am thinking of making this town uh, I want it to be a full kind of transformation, and this island is big, uh, pretty big at least, I think. Um, and so let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. This is the idea. So big roads, pretty big roads, big houses, and I want to use all the terracottas, and I have some concretes in here as well. Um, very colorful. And so I want it to be like each house is individually colored. Um, so like green, obviously. And then this is like a magenta mauve or something like that. And then I want these lights to be something that's pretty big as well. Um, and this I'm really experimenting with trying to get a lot of depth into my builds. Uh, I'm learning this from Janzy. Uh, he does three de like two three layers of depth so you've got this log oh i forgot this creative this log then this and then this so you get like an extra layer of depth and that is really yeah you can see it really good here this is like on on the bottom level top level not as much but you still have depth uh and i just really wanted to make something that is unique so it's got brick and granite um, like walkways, uh, we're going to, it's, it's, that's going to be annoying. Um, we may in the data pack, I, I personally would really like to make it so that you get more bricks, uh, not a, not crap ton more, but like you get more bricks for everything. Like it maybe takes two bricks to make a brick block or something. I don't know. Like, is something to make a quality of life because bricks are just such a pain uh, to do. And this is a lot of brick. Um, so let me know if you like that idea or if you think that's too busted or anything. And I did experiment with the glass. And so now we have, if you haven't noticed already, updated glass. So this is the blue stained glass. And this is the cyan stained glass. 
and if you want to take a look at it. So this is cyan, much vibrant, much more vibrant blue compared to our light blue. Uh, this is our light blue, and this is the blue, and so I've and this is purple or light purple or magenta. No, this is purple, and then this is magenta, and the magenta honestly like. I mean, it's a little crazy, but that's okay. Uh, and we have right now Wells Knights um, textures uh, on the glass. I'll be changing them, but I was using those as reference um, for the texture pack itself. So yeah, so this is like the build idea. So really like this bright happiness uh, up top. And then down below, I would like to make a sewer system uh, to where you... Um, get to really see the inner workings like maybe this place is really built upon like slavery or something like that something like dark um but that's kind of like the idea uh really dark interior and a fake happy exterior uh, but so this is the idea let me know your thoughts um and so obviously it would have houses on here and stuff uh and so big roads and it honestly i think this island would require flattening um, but it is pretty big. I mean, you've got it's it's a pretty decent sized island. Um, so it would be a good sized town, and I think it could be really cool. And we could incorporate the landscape. Um, but I always think that mushroom biomes are really good for uh, big terraforming sort of ideas because really all you have to do is put grass over everything <laughs> you don't have to deal like i wouldn't deal with actually replacing all this i would just bury it under grass uh, so that's the idea um so let me know what your thoughts are and i was also experimenting with concretes and stuff i think the concretes look all right i really like the texture though of terracotta and that's the issue uh, I've thought about adding the terracotta texture onto the concretes just to get like really bright terracottas as well, but I don't know. Um, and this is totally like, a, I'm pretty sure this is a Janzy style wagon. I don't know. I just randomly built it. Um, but yeah, so let me know what your thoughts are on this. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you like the video, uh, feel free to leave a like in real life. And if you... Uh, like what I'm doing and want to see more and are excited to kind of start wrapping up the gypsy camp um, and like this idea, feel free to subscribe, uh, join the little family we've got going here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.